Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm going to be talking about the RDF library, more specifically about the loading and saving the RDF graphs. Now in the previous video, I gave a general introduction to the RDF library, and if you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you to check it out. Okay, so let's get started. Now first thing first, we want to make sure that the library is installed. We can do it like so with the pip. Now I have already installed the library, that's why it was so quick. Now let's import the library and we can start. So first of all, we want to initialize the graph instance and then um, let's imagine that we have a graph which is stored on the web. Now what we can do is simply uh, use the parse function and give it a URL, URL address to the graph. So let's check out the graph. Now, this is how the uh, DBpedia uh, uh, graph looks like about the Python programming language entity. So what we can do, as I said before, we can just pass it the URL and um, the, uh, the method will handle everything by itself. So uh, let's check out the number of statements. We can see that the graph has 801 statements. Now, um, when it comes to handling the graph, uh, like uh, manipulating the graph, check out the first video. Now, um, let's uh, check out my directory. Now, we can see that in my directory, I have created um, a example.xml file. So, let's take a look at the graph. Now, we can see that it is a very simple graph. It contains just two entities, some, some namespaces and two entities. So basically a two statements or facts. So what we can do is uh, um, in order to load the graph or parse it, we have to first initialize the graph instance again. And then instead of passing a URL, or we pass it the um, path to the file. So in this case, it is just example.xml because um, the file is located in my current working directory. And in this case, we have to um, specify a format or basically a parser that it's going to be used, a parser engine. Now, if we are not sure about what uh, format to use, we can use the RDF utility guess, guess format method, which takes as an argument, again, only the uh, path to the file. And this is going to determine what format to use. OK, so let's run this. Uh, we can see that the graph has been uh, has been uh, loaded, and um, let's print out the number of statements and let's serialize the graph. So uh, we can see that the graph H has two facts, and uh, when we serialize the graph back and decoded it, uh, we can see that it is um, identical to the original file. Now. We can, of course, do whatever we want with the, with the graph now, now that it is loaded. Uh, for example, we can iterate over its triples and print them out. Okay, so in this third example, uh, let's imagine that we have a, um, a string which uh, is loaded to a memory, like so. And uh, we want to... Uh, use the parser to parse the graph for us. So uh, what we can do is again use the parse method, but this time we are going to specify the data argument and uh, provide it the string or the data. And again, we have to provide the format. And if we run this, uh, we can see that the graph has been loaded. And when we print out the size of the graph, we can see that it contains two facts. Now let's iterate over its uh, subject predicate and object. And we can see that the, the data has been nicely parsed and we can actually uh, work, work with the individual uh, items in the graph um, as we please. Now let's talk about the saving, saving the graph. And so first thing first we can do is um, use the serialize again and use the decode method to simply print it to the standard output, specifying the format. So basically we took the first graph, the J graph, 
um, which was original in, in three and triple format. And then we serialized it uh, into the turtle format. And that's why it looks like this. Now, similarly, if we want to save it to a file, instead of um, passing nothing, we basically give it a path. And since I want to save it into current directory, I can just give it the name of the file, specify the format, and let's run this. And uh, let's look at my directory. And we can see that the, that the file is here. And just to double, uh, um, double check that I didn't treat. So I'm going to uh, give it a two here. Now we can see that the file is here. And if I uh, cut the file, we can see that the triples are basically the same as in here. Yeah, so and this is um, the RTF library, more specifically the loading and saving the data files, um, data, um, the RDF graphs, and that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching.